the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 80, Judges chapter 2, verse 11 to chapter 5. Exodus, Manna, third generation. The Manna generation failed to educate their children about a kingdom of priests, and this resulted in God having to send judges. First point. The Manna generation knew God, but the following generations failed to know God. Most unfortunately, the thing that Moses feared the most when the people went into Canaan came true. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe His commands, His laws, and His decrees that I am giving you this day. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, when you build fine houses and settle down, and when your herds and flocks grow large, and your silver and gold increase, and all you have is multiplied, then your heart will become proud, and you will forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Unfortunately, after that whole generation had been gathered to their ancestors, another generation grew up who knew neither the Lord nor what he had done for Israel. The reason for this situation was no mystery. It was all because the Mana generation failed to implement Shema, which Moses so dearly requested from them. The Mana generation failed to teach their children about a kingdom of priests, and these children became exposed to the Canaanite culture. Second point, the children of the Mana generation unfortunately faded out the culture of a kingdom of priests and rather started to follow the culture of Canaan. The Mana generation was very good at educating their children about life skills. Hence, their children became very good at cultivating land, growing animals, and growing their fortune. However, they miserably failed at Shema, which Moses emphasized to them time and time again. What Moses asked of them was the following, Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. The reason Moses emphasized so strongly this education was so that their children may have a prosperous days. That also commanded the people to drive out the Canaanite as their culture was corrupt and evil. However, the Israelites failed even this, as the Mana generation failed at educating their children. Their children failed to keep the laws of the kingdom of priests in the land flowing with milk and honey. So the point, during the 350 years of the years when the judges ruled, the Israelites experienced the first and second stage of punishment according to the laws of the kingdom of the priests. The children of the Mana generation failed to keep the laws of the kingdom of the priests, and so they were punished according to what was written in Leviticus chapter 26. The first phase of their punishment was famine, and the second step was economic exploitation. Your strength will be spent in vain because your soil will not yield its crops, nor will the trace of your land yield their fruit. 
regarding economic exploitation, God said, I will set my face against you, so that you will be defeated by your enemies. Those who hate you will rule over you, and you will flee even when no one is pursuing you. The children of the Mana generation had come to the second phase of punishment, all because they failed to keep the laws of God. Moses' deep concern had unfortunately become reality. Fourth point, the judges became a way for God to grant his mercy. Even when the Israelites were being punished for their sins, God did not give up on them and always granted them his mercy. This is where the law of the judges came in. Othniel was from the tribe of Judah, and he was raised as a judge for Israel. Othniel led the people out from the eight years of rule from Mesopotamia, and furthermore led them into 40 years of peace. After Othniel, Ephod took over and became the second judge of Israel. He was from the tribe of Benjamin. He killed the Moab king Eglon and blew the trumpet to drive out the Moabites. He successfully ended the 18-year rule of Moab. From then, the Israel nation lived in peace for 80 years. The next appointed judge was Shamgar and the next was Deborah. Fifth point, Deborah's song made peace for 40 years. Deborah was the only female judge out of all the 12 appointed judges. Deborah led the fight against the 900 iron weapons in victory and enabled the Israel nation to live in peace for 40 years. And then she praised God. Hear this, your kings, listen your rulers. I, even I, will sing to the Lord. I will praise the Lord, the God of Israel, in song. Wake up, wake up, Deborah. Wake up, wake up, break out in song. Arise, Barak, take captive your captives, son of Abinoah. Before this, Moses had also sung to God after crossing the Red Sea. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Both horse and driver he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. Judge Deborah therefore became known as the judge who praised God through song. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.